Well, we got the old 92 back in here again. Duff Dog, he's already camped out. Got a little uh, cancer in there, so we're gonna make a video on how to fix that, because uh, Chinstrap did a quick research, and the only two we found was a guy on a skateboard with a can of spray foam. That's, that's not gonna cut her. And the other guy, uh, he was cooking meth in his garage in his car hearts, and uh, he was obese yet, so he's clearly doing it wrong. So here we go here. Look at this. Never mind the sandwich. We got this guy uh, on the old interwebs for about $15 shipped to your door. We're gonna show you how to get there on there. I think I'll cut her off below the belt line. We got a donor 98, gonna get the old rocker panel off that one and scab in there, but yeah, here we go. Duff's excited. Seems kind of light up in the middle.
there you go. That's how you cure cancer. You just cut it all off. So we got a line marked out, super straight, just like the cut I'm about to make. Duffy, protect yourself. Probably a better way to locate this other than on my pant leg, but... Look at that. Ready for final paint right there. Look at how straight that is. It's so dirty. How close as straight as that? This is low, so bad. Well, went and uh, sprayed some pour 15 inside there to try to prevent the rust hopping through again next time. Uh, it was pretty rotten in here, so grabbed another cab that we had out back that was better shape and cut a piece out, patched that in. Uh, got a little bit more welding to do, but maybe we'll just grind it smooth and seam seal it. That's good enough. It's not really structural other than this part to kind of hold the cab corner in there uh, there's supposed to be a support in here that donor pickup was an extended cab so that really won't work for us a little bit different but did quite a bit of cutting and grinding and fitting fun stuff that nobody wants to see on this cab corner got her fitting pretty good gonna close the door one last time make sure that all the gaps are good and then we'll Pack it in. Here we go.
I did pull the carpet out since we cut that out uh, so that I can clean that up, but you're going to want to keep an eye make sure you don't have any fires going on in here. Uh, definitely have a fire extinguisher handy or a garden hose or a bucket of water. And uh, when you get done welding, probably hang out for a little bit, just keep an eye on things, make sure you don't have any fires going on inside the cab. Ask me how I know. Gonna show you what we got going on here. They're pretty much welded up. Uh, I think I'm just gonna smooth those out and seam seal it. No point in welding it the entire way. That's about it. Start doing some grinding, I guess. You can use a flat disc on a four and a half inch grinder. You can use these little die grinders. You can get in a little bit tighter spots with these, but the four and a half inch flat disc probably cut a lot quicker. So yeah, I guess here's where you probably add some filler in there and call it good, but for what, sand her out, prime it, but uh, what we got going on here in this project, we're probably just going to seam seal these edges, put some high build primer on there and call it good. So, uh, that pretty much wraps her up. Close up look at what we got going on here, I try to make these cuts as close as I can to a body line so that that way doesn't have as much room for deflection. It's not perfectly flat in there, but if you really wanted to, you could put some filler in there. A lot of that is due to these replacement overseas panels not being the same as the GM stuff. And then there'll be a little seam sealer in here in the bottom as well where that gap's at. There you have it. How to install a cab corner, an 88 to 98 Chevy regular cab or GMC. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Got the 92 pretty much back together. Well, I guess cab's back on it. Doors still need to be painted, but here's the cab corner. Turned out not too bad. Definitely not Barrett Jackson material. Yeah, if you look real close, you can see where I seam sealed around there. Paint's just rattle can, eBay special, uh, paint code WA228A, or is it just WA228? Light autumn wood is what it's called, so there it is. Um, it's got a little bit of a, it's not perfectly straight, the splice is right here, and when I kind of beat it in to match that profile, it's got a, can't really see, you can see it better when the door's closed, but you can still see where I did the welding, but I didn't really want to put filler on it. This pickup's really not worth it. So now you can see the paint color's a little bit different. I might try to put a clear coat on this rattle can to see if that helps match it up a little bit better. From a distance, you can't really tell. It's not as noticeable as when you get close up, but it's, it's definitely different, especially when you get a door on, it'll be more noticeable. And there's where I was telling you, it, it kind of gets tight. And a guy could have ground that down and smoothed it out. Again, it's a $500 pickup, so we're not gonna get too crazy with it. So there it is. Uh, yeah, just use some blue painter's tape and some rattle can. I actually think the light autumn wood turned out better than the black. Of course, black shows everything and then it's up higher too as well. So easy peasy, I probably had Oh, I don't know, two, maybe three hours total into it. And that was with cutting it out of another pickup. So really not that bad. Easy enough to do at home. You got a good weekend. You bang it out. All right. Click uh, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a good one.